pay salaries. And therefore, there are many measures that will be taken to address that situation. But I want to give you hope. Last night, the president and I sat with the KRA for seven hours. We parted at midnight to agree on how we collect more revenue so that we can collect about three trillion shillings by the end of the year to be able to fund our current and uh, development budget. So don't give up. All is not lost. Despite the fact that we have a difficult situation, we are working on it and everybody is coming along. And in the fullness of time, we will turn around the economy of this country. First and foremost, in the first two years, God willing to return Kenya where President Mwai Kebaki left us and progressively turn around the economy to improve the quality of lives and put money in the pocket of everybody, including teachers and educational stakeholders, so that people can improve their quality of life. So, Mimi Nimeshukuru Sana, I'm also a product of good education. So when I'm here, I'm very happy. If I did not go to school, I'm not sure I would be here. I will be in a village somewhere called Wamunyoro. The name doesn't sound very nice as a professor, but that is where I came from. And uh, it is also possible for you to come from an unknown village and go somewhere. Dr. William Ruto was selling chicken. He went to a primary school called Kamagut. He had no shoes. Today he is the president of the Republic of Kenya. Yeah. By two things, God's will and good, sound education. So we have a duty as leaders to do everything within our power to give our peoples and our learners a similar environment that we were given by our parents and the government then. So that one day, those little children in primary school in Saturday 2 and 3, one day they can be here as deputy president, they can be state house as president by getting good and uh, uh, good and quality education. So, Professor Munafu, you have a job to do, and I have requested you kindly invite the members of the National Assembly to come and present. The reason why I recommend that you involve the members of the National Assembly is that collectively they have a budget every year of about 42 billion, and 90% of that money goes to education. So, it is important that you bring them on board, seek their views so that when we implement the reforms that you shall recommend to government, the members of the National Assembly and the National Government Constituency Development Fund is part of that intervention. It is good to bring them on board because they control huge amounts of money meant for the educational sector. And if we have synergy with the members of the National Assembly, that whatever recommendations you are making, they are also part of those recommendations. I have no doubt in my mind they will be very happy because they are very passionate about education to put that 40 billion or so to assist us in whatever recommendations you shall come up with. So I really want to wish you well. Please listen to everybody. This country is a democratic country. Everybody has a right to say what you want. Talk to everyone. Talk to the unions, talk to Kepsha, talk to Kesha, talk to, talk to the teachers in primary schools, talk to people in ECD, talk to the private schools, talk to people in special schools, talk to anybody who cares to say something about education. And I also ask the people of Kenya, please don't stay at home and criticize the recommendations when they are, they are pronounced yet you are not available to come and say something. Because the people of Kenya have that problem. They stay at the shopping centers and criticize everything there. You know, and yet when they are called to say something, they don't say. But they are the first ones to criticize anything that has been rolled out. I'm inviting all critics, including the press. We also want to hear your views. Don't just